How do you become a better quizzer? One of the ways of improving quickly is to make sure you're learning the right things. In this video, I'll take you through one of the things that every quizzer should try to learn. This is the Quiz Academy. Possibly the most important scientific list any quizzer needs to learn is the list of chemical elements. These are usually arranged in what is known as the periodic table, as shown here. If we take cobalt as an example, the most important thing to know about any element is its one or two letter chemical symbol, in this case CO. While you might need to know who discovered an element, in this case the Swedish scientist George Brandt, you will certainly need to know the origin of the element's name. In this case, the name cobalt is derived from the German word for goblin. If you have a good memory for numbers, it's good to know the atomic number of an element, in this case 27. The atomic weight is also shown on the periodic table for each element, but that is extremely unlikely to come up in a quiz. The Russian scientist Dmitry Mendeleev discovered that if he listed the chemical elements in an ascending order of their atomic weight, there was a cyclical pattern to the properties of the elements. For example, lithium, sodium and potassium all react when they come into contact with water. Mendeleev arranged elements in columns and rows by their atomic weight, but some elements appeared in the wrong place in respect of their properties, so he moved them to where they fitted the pattern. This anticipated the discovery of atomic numbers that's the basis for the much expanded periodic table we have today. Rows are known as periods from which the periodic table gets its name. Columns are known as groups. There are other categories of elements, for example the inert or non-reactive gases in group 18 are known as noble gases. Multiple groups can be formed into blocks. For example, the elements in D block are known as transition metals. Sitting below the main table are the lanthanides and actinides. They are separate because of their electron configuration, and if you want to understand what that means, you're going beyond the scope of this video. As a quizzer, you must know the names of the elements, their chemical symbols, and the origins of their names especially those named after people or places. Question writers can't resist the unusual or the unique, so make sure you know about the properties of gallium, for example. If you can learn each element's atomic number, you should. If you can't learn them all, try to learn the first 20, as well as the numbers of well-known elements such as gold or silver, and the number of uranium, so you can make a guess at the number of a transuranic element if needed. Knowing the different categories of elements will get you points, and if you know the uses and properties of different elements, it will help you to make educated guesses. Some people discovered multiple elements, so ensure you know your Curie elements from your Bezalius ones. Finally, you could learn the periods and groups and the atomic weight of each element, but really, life is too short for that. There are many resources available online, but there are few that are better than the Royal Society of Chemistry's interactive periodic table. All of the information discussed in this video is available and more. You can see each element as you mouse over and here's our old friend Cobalt. If you go into Cobalt you get additional information and you can look at things like uses, properties, history, atomic data, supply risk plus additional information in podcasts and videos. You can sort the table by group such as group 4 or group 11, by block, such as D block, by periods, such as period 3 here, or isolate the lanthanides and actinides. You can sort between metallic elements and non-metallic elements. And you can see how the different elements behave at different temperatures through this handy slider. Thanks for watching this Quiz Academy video. If you enjoyed it, please click the like button, and if you don't want to miss future videos, click subscribe. In the comments, tell us what you thought of the video and what other topics we should cover.